everyone. So today we're going to be talking about paleontology. So what is paleontology? Well, it's a type of science that studies dinosaurs. So it's really cool. And you can actually work as a paleontologist, which means it's your job to go and discover different dinosaurs. So we're going to be talking about this awesome woman who was a paleontologist and discovered many cool things. So let's learn about Mi Man Chang. Mi Man Chang is a Chinese paleontologist, which is a scientist that studies fossils. She was the first woman to become the head of the Institute of Paleontology. And she has many extinct species named after her. So extinct means an animal that died a long, long time ago and no longer exists anymore. Like the dinosaurs are extinct. Or, but not just the dinosaurs, other animals as well. Like during the Ice Age, those animals are all extinct now too. The extinct species named after her includes fish, dinosaurs, and birds. So she discovered different extinct fish, dinosaurs, and birds, and they named them after her, which is super cool. Through her study of fish fossils, she, had, she has found some of our earliest ancestors. In 2018, she was given the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science Award in recognition of the significance of her work and career. Did you guys know that lots of dinosaurs have been found here in Alberta, right where we live? So this picture here is a picture of an Albertasaurus. So it's a dinosaur that was found in Alberta and was named after Alberta. Here is another picture of a dinosaur that was found in Alberta. And here is a picture of a dinosaur fossil. Did you guys also know we have a museum in Alberta just dedicated to dinosaurs? It's called the Royal Tyrell Museum. And here's a picture of it. And here is a picture of a dinosaur that you can go see in the Royal Tyrell Museum right now. So attached to this newsletter is a worksheet that you guys can print out at home and become your own paleontologists. So this is what the worksheet looks like. And here are some pictures of different dinosaur bones. So you can color in the bones, then you can cut it out and try and piece together the dinosaur again. Because usually paleontologists, when they find dinosaur bones, they don't find all of them at once. They find a little bit here and a little bit there, and then they have to put it back together like a puzzle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next week. Bye!